What's up, super players? It's your homie C Rod back at it again with another video. And today we got Son Goku and Pan. We're stepping straight into the Grand Tour. Dun -dun 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 One of my favorite archetypes in Dragon Ball Super card game because I don't know, it's just a lot of fun bringing out the big Super Saiyan 4 battle cards and trying to like obliterate your opponent with the ultimate being Super Saiyan 4. I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. And today we got Son Goku and Pan, which is considered a uh, Son Goku and Pan all in one, which is pretty good because we're gonna be able to utilize cards that, you know, we're able to play for free based on the specific character we have on the field or leader area. So that's really good. And on top of that, she has an activate main that once per turn, you get to pick up two lives and then you get to grant double strike to any of your battle cards, which is super key because this is going to allow us to awaken really fast and she has a new awakening mechanic where you awaken at two lives or less so you got to be at two lives in order to awaken and you get to restand two energies and draw two cards which is pretty darn insane and then you awaken from you know pan and goku to just super saiyan 4 senses regain and uh, this guy is not bad he's a double strike base and in activate main, you get to pick up one life and then add it to your hand, switch this card back to active mode. So pretty much you attack a double strike, activate main, take a life, restand, and you go in for another double strike. So that is the leader. Uh, it's full on aggro and we are going to be running our first card in the deck, which is Flying Nimbus. Since our leader does pretty much kill herself relatively fast by picking up two lives during the activate main you're gonna be at two lives relatively quickly meaning you are at lethal range for pretty much ultimate death <laughs> so flying nimbus you negate the attack drop one yellow card and your opponent cannot make any more multiple attacks with battle cards except for one more attack with a battle card so this card saves your butt we're running three of these flying nimbus very clutch and then after that we are running the new card from the um series 8 super gallic gun i really like this card it's so darn good what it does is a counter play if you happen to be at four lives or less the battle card coming out onto the field is played in rest mode so it's pretty much a new upgraded crusher ball because you could strike a life if your leader is uh, if you have a multicolor energy in your energy zone, pretty much take a life, activate this counter when your life is at four or less. Super Gallic Gun could save you from, uh, you know, ultimate death. That is our, you know, beast counter. And then after that, we got the dual color energy. We got the Whis. You gotta have dual color cards in this deck. This deck revolves around having a dual color energy turn one so if you did not open up with any dual color cards you got a hard mulligan for a dual color card and ideally i like to toss this guy out as my turn one energy and then after that any other weas that you play as energy will be considered an active dual color energy coming onto your energy zone so this card is so darn good running for those you gotta see that so then after that we got planet vegeta you know, we're stepping into the Saiyan realm of the Great Apes. Well, Planet Vegeta not only restands Great Apes at the end of your turn, we're not really running many Great Apes in this deck, but what you're ideally wanted for is to search you out the main key component because this is, uh, you know, you need to have all the pieces of the puzzle in order to actually explode. This is a, literally a turn two kill deck if you draw the perfect hand. I kid you not, I've been able to kill my opponent turn two and they only have one energy. And uh, usually that energy is in rest mode because they threw out a dual color energy. So this card searches you out the pieces you need to obliterate your opponent. So we have two of those. Then you could also search out this Goku, which is a 10k boost super combo. We're running uh, three of these. I couldn't find my fourth one. But if you have four Pure Hearted Sun Gokus, I would play four. I'm running one shoe because I couldn't find the other one. But these guys are searchable by Planet Vegeta, meaning you could go for a game and, uh, or protect yourself and search out a super combo if you need it with Planet Vegeta. So 10k boost draw for these. These activate at four lives or less. And uh, this one just has a 10k boost based 
combo. You know, even if you are not at four lives or less, you can still 10k boost if you need it. Then after that, we are running four of the Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku Ever Evolving. This card is a one drop. It searches you out a Pan or a GT Goku. If you happen to use this Activate Main by picking up the top five, and upon play, you get to draw a card. Very useful. You need one of these in your hand. Ideally, turn two to play it and draw, and then search you out the pieces. Like the, like I said, this deck is heavily like uh, puzzle piece based. What I mean by that is you need to have all the pieces in your hand in order to obliterate your opponent. And the good thing is you only need two cards in your hand ideally. So we got Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku, the last draw from the starter deck, the Parasitic Overload. This card is so good. Pretty much you take a life when he comes out onto the field, you pick up a life, and then uh, he gains 10k boost and double strike, which is so strong. And then you can, you know, pressure your opponent with double strike. And ideally, you have him here for evolving targets. So this guy is good. He gains the 10k boost. And then we are running the Great Ape. You know, Pen is the Whisper of the Great Apes. This Great Ape, for one red energy, he gets to evolve on top of a Yellow Sun Goku GT, which could be this Yellow GT or the Last Straw. I mean, Ever Evolving GT, either one. For one red energy, you EX Evolve. Upon play, he gains 15k power, making this guy a 35k power. And if you evolved on top of this guy, he'll be a 45k power because the power stacks. And then obviously you want to take your lives, pick up two, give this 45k uh, double strike. So now it's a 45k double strike great ape. And then hopefully if you played it right, you are at two lives, you awaken. And then I'll show you the rest of the pieces. But this guy is a 45k double strike potential if you play it right because our leader grants double strike by picking up two cards from your life. So this guy is a huge uh, piece of the puzzle. Then I added just two pint size GT Goku because sometimes you really need to look for your pieces and if you don't find your pieces, it could go pretty downhill. But if you find all your pieces, you could go so high, like two, turn two kill, ideally, that's crazy. So two of these to search you out a red GT Goku, which you can search out the ape or the next piece that I will show you, which is the next most important piece. But we are running three Giru. Since we're able to play them for free, if you happen to have a pan in the leader area or the combo, I mean the no! leader area or the combo, the leader area or the battlefield, sorry about that, he comes out for free without no energy being paid. So, since our leader is considered a pan unawakened, you're able to just spam these out for free onto the field and uh, have a free blocker. Free blocker nowadays are so clutch. So now, the bread and butter of the entire deck. We are running four of the pan great ape whispers. This pan has the ability to come out onto the field for free without paying any energy if you awaken at two lives or less and she's a blocker and you can only have one of these on the field at a time and she has an activate main that you get to switch one of your yellow battle cards back to active mode one time and then you get to negate this effect for the duration of the game so this is ideally what you want so we are gonna awaken at two lives play this out for free very useful so this is the whole point of the deck, guys. So, when you awaken, if you happen to have a battle card that's over uh, 30k power, which you will have, is it 30k or 25k? 25k power, sorry about that. If you have a battle card on the field that's over 25k power, when you activate your awakening ability, he'll come out onto the field for free without paying its energy cost which is so strong because not only will you bring him out you'll also bring out pan and both of these combine you attack triple strike and then activate pan's ability restand it go in with another triple strike and upon play you activate offering which makes your opponent either crit a life or draw two this right here is the whole point of the deck it's so easy to bring out because 
you could have this guy that went up to 45k power or 35k power and hopefully you gave him double strike you attack with it then you awaken he goes to the drop and then you bring out the super saiyan 4 step into the grand tour offering triple strike pretty much offering triple strike dual attack if you have the pieces all in your hand so that is that and then to solidify, the Super Saiyan 4 comes out onto the field. We're running four of these Beeruses. Pretty much, this guy has a rival for one yellow and one red in the combo zone. You activate one, you use one red and one yellow energy. He comes out onto the field and then he pops a battle card 30k or less, which is a very useful re removal card. Or he puts your leader card or any other battle card on the field and rest mode it cannot switch to active mode until it's your main phase yet again so this card is super super good and then ideally you could also if you do not draw the great ape to have a big 25k battle card on the field to you know awaken and play out your super saiyan 4 you could also awaken and then put this guy in the drop and bring out super saiyan 4 obviously hopefully after you granted it double strike so you can pressure your opponent with a double strike with this Beerus. So this is super ideal too, you, you, you need it. And then I added these because nowadays there's a lot of cards that, you know, have a rival and pop a battle card while it's attacking and then there goes your entire gameplay and you just lose because they happen to run a deck that would just pop during the battle phase. So that really sucked and I learned my lesson. That's why I added strategies of universe seven to guarantee that does not happen to you because that really does suck. And then your whole deck pretty much is useless and you can never win a game. So you need these in the deck just in case you do come around those, you know, certain decks that pop your battle card with a rival like the Broly's so this is super good because it gives a barrier so that does not happen to you and then I added one Mira Assault of the Skies you tend to rack up a good amount of cards in the drop one energy you draw a card you restand an energy during your opponent's main and uh, you go in with a 30k double strike sometimes this is the last push you need to finish off your opponent so this card is very useful and then I added two Topos you know, Topo is so good. Your opponent attacks for two energies, drop a card, comes out onto the field, and your opponent cannot make any more attacks unless they discard two cards. Very strong. Topo for the win. And I added Baby Janimba. This card's actually very useful. Sometimes you don't want to explode too fast on your opponent and kind of control your awakening ability. So sometimes you can actually get to five energies, activate this, and then your leader is a double strike. And you can pick up a life and go in with another double strike. He minuses 30k to your opponent's leader. And if they don't want that effect to happen, they lose three lives. And he has offering, meaning they crit a life or they let you draw two. So that is the Super Saiyan 4 deck profile. It's very strong, very powerful. Try it out, guys. Modify it to your playstyle. I was playing the old Super Saiyan 4 engine in here, but I got it got kind of cloggy. So I just ran all the new stuff and it runs really smooth. So Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new here. You definitely want to check out the newest deck profiles, newest battles. And like we always say, y'all stay super.